Hello superstars, it's Sam Kiss here again. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to quickly show you how to trade volatility 75 index without any indicator setup on the chart. So if you're a beginner trader or you've been trading for quite a while and you're finding it quite cumbersome to trade um, the charts with a whole of those decorations on top of it, you know, a chart that's decorated with um, a lot of indicators and you're looking for a simplified way of trading, then this video is what you want to watch and you really want to pay very close attention to every detail that I will share with you. This video encompasses the application of price action and the basics of technical analysis. The truth is, trading is actually simple. It's doing simple things consistently over and over again. That is what is definitely going to give you the success that you are looking at for. And I just want to show you how I apply this knowledge to improving my trading skills and definitely earning a whole lot from the financial markets. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button and comment below where you are watching this video from. And also, I want to invite you to join our Telegram community at Freedom Trade House. Um, over there, you can connect with other traders that we have within the community. With that being said, let's get started with the tutorial. Now, before you trade any day, if you have been following my tutorials, you will learn that before you get into the market, the first thing you want to do is to observe price movement on the daily time frame or the weekly time frame or the four hour time frame. And you should spot out zones of support, resistance, you know, and also the trend line so that you're going to have an eagle's view on where price is headed. And that is what we're going to start off with now. So before we dive into that, let's look at the basics of technical analysis. The basics of technical analysis has to do with support, resistance, and trend lines. Now, support could be considered as the floor, while resistance could be considered as the ceiling. Okay, now these are points where price tends to reverse. Okay, and I'm going to show you that quickly now. Now, on the charts, you can see price on the daily time frame. I'll just map out levels of support and resistance using the horizontal um, horizontal line too, right? We have the object here. So I'm going to make it a black color. Um, and also, I'm going to increase the thickness so you can see it more vividly. Okay, we have this done now. Now, we have a place there. So what I want to do is to spot out zones of support. On this high time frame so we have support here you can see price got to this place as a floor and it reversed towards the upper direction also I'm gonna spot out zones of resistance so looking at price here we have major resistance here you can see several times price got into the zone so you may want to map out these things as um, a thin line or a zone of two lines so let's do it this way if I want to pick it out again I could just pick out this portion and I'll tag up this part as a resistance zone but for the sake of this video I'll just map out with a thin line now having done that the next thing you want to do is to identify zones of um, trends we have the trend line so we have two types of trends in the market we have the upper trend line or the upper trend and we also have the downward trend now let me show you what I implied by upper trend or you call it an uptrend now we have for uptrend price creates levels of higher highs and higher lows that's what we have in an uptrend while in a downtrend price creates um, lower highs and lower lows so look at this we have lower lows here uh, let me just bring that in so you can see it clearly clearly good you see this we have lower lows here okay let me pick it from this guy here now you can see that we have lower lows why for the uptrend we have the higher lows now we can also take up the highs of that um that uptrend right you can see this that is what we see that's the structure of an uptrend why for this downtrend we have um, the lower highs i'm just going to do that i won't take my time to elaborate this so that you will get everything clearly so if you want to get the best i recommend that you pay very close attention and don't skip any part because this is the most important part or the most important thing you need to know about trading before you start putting up indicators on your charts you need to understand how this um these things come about how this technical analysis comes about so i want to put you through that 
and if you pay attention to this and you master the strategy you'll find out that you'll be able to use indicator strategies more successfully and you will find out more success in your trading okay this is clear let's move on to C time now on the lower time frames now after identifying the support and resistance and also the trend lines on the higher time frame you just want to go further into smaller time frames to observe this support and resistance and trends again all right now we can see in the charts and um, this is the four hour time frame and we have something quite similar um, there's no no much variation there's not so much variation from this but i can actually see something now i can see something on the charts now that i want to share with you it is called level of pivot you can see the price got to this point in time past and it went back up so this was some sort of a support here now this same point we had as a support price broke it here came down and retested that same zone as a resistance so you want to consider this as a pivot point and this is the secret of volatility 75 index i have seen this happen over and over again in smaller time frames the places where you had as a support before which was broken and price went down whenever price approaches that side there tends to be what a reversal now let's look further on the smaller time frame so you will see what i'm saying now let's look at price on the five minute time frame and spot out the zones of support and resistance and also pay attention to what we can find as regards the pivot zones so I'm gonna bring out this tool here and you can see this we have a support here and we also have we have a support at this point here these two zones you can see that this zone here is a zone of support now if you go further you're gonna see that the lower portion of the zone appears to be a resistance as price went further right and if we look further at this other side we have price getting to this point again coming into the zone you see got to the top of it and there was what a resistance price went further downwards and tries to break it and it broke it it broke the first one and retest support and went up and coming back to this particular level you can see that there's a level of support here now look at this let me show you something now if you map out this on from this end here let me show you um, if you look at it from this point here you can see there was a slight resistance here the slight resistance we have at this point let me get um, an arrow let me get an arrow too so we can bring that out now the slight resistance that we have here you can see that that place we tested for what the support here now this other level of resistance that we had here came to test for support here that is what price does that's the price action um, effect we have on volatility 75 index you can see the same thing happen here it came to what test for support so what you primarily want to do um, whenever you come into the charts it's to identify the zones of support and resistance identify these zones and wait for price to come around such zones let's look at it at the 15 minutes time frame right you wait for price to come around such zones and then you get your sniper entry now when we talk about sniper entry we want to think about what snipers do snipers they just wait for an opportunity to shoot and kill it is one bullet one kill and that's what you want to do in your trading here you want to have just one bullet and one kill you want to take one entry and have that profit so it's not uh, let me just try if this will work and i'll put my risk just above here and all that you know it's that's not what you want to do you you're sure you have your confirmations this is going to give me money right and you go all in and then you make and that is how i've been able to grow my account and trade several times without any loss at all because i wait patiently for those sniper entries so if you take a look at this now what i just showed you on the chart the resistance zone that i just created here you can see the top of the week the top here they had there was a reversal and you can see the price got into this zone again so support resistance happens to be levels of zones or the some kind of zones right once price gets there you put in your sell or your buy in case of support and resistance you put your sell and then you put your risk above that zone that will be your risk then the reward will be downwards in case of a sell and with that you'll be able to bank 500 pips 1000 pips and so on let's see how many pips price made here you can see that price did about um, 
2000 pips you can see that it did about 2400 pips just with this movement here you can see with this movement from here to this point about 2000 pips and if you're trading with us um, a lot size of uh, one dollar per pip that will be giving about two thousand dollars on your account just with this trade the same day okay so that's what we're looking at for so let me show you how you can get your entries i like looking out for my entry positions in the five minute time frame or the one minute time frame so if you want to learn how to trade this five minute time frame and one minute time frame then go take a look at my five minute strategy and also the one minute strategy for trading volatility 75 index now let's look at price on the one minute time frame and see the same reactions the same thing that's happening in the market you can see that i have another zone here you can see the level of support can you see these are things that happen over and over in the market and if you apply this knowledge consistently if you keep your your trading style simple and consistent you find that you make a lot of profits you see this resistance support support price went up boom and came back to this place broke it tested for resistance and now it's a new resistance and that is what we're seeing in the market so that is where you want to get your sniper entries from okay so your entry is going to be levels of support or resistance areas where price turned from support to resistance or from resistance to support and that's what you're looking at for that's all you need to make profits in volatility 75 index i hope this tutorial was helpful let me know your thoughts about it on the comment section of this video and if you'd like to see more of my videos hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video don't forget to join our telegram community i post a lot of resources there every day and i know that it's going to be helpful for you my name is sam keys and i'm always here to help